We're learning more tonight about what led up to the now high profile battle between a 90 year old woman and the city of Sarasota over thousands of dollars in fines for housing code violations. ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates is here now with a follow up. Bo Beth? Yes, from biker groups volunteering to mow her lawn to pool companies donating their services. The company's now rallying around the 90 year old, but her future in the home is still uncertain. Marie Louise Sikorsky's story is one that has sparked a lot of attention, much of which started with the sign now on her front lawn. The city has been getting on my back uh, for three years or, or longer, you know, about little things. While the 90 year old has owned the property for the past 70 years, about six years ago, those close to her say she moved out after being advised by a doctor that she should live in a community with friends and people who can check on her regularly. During her time away, her home on Weber began to deteriorate. And after complaints from neighbors, the city stepped in and they say the concerns go beyond cosmetic fixes. It had deteriorated to be a, a very serious blighting influence on the rest of the neighborhood and a dangerous structure. Uh, there's some pretty severe structural issues in play here. Last July, the city placed a $100 a day lien on the home, which they increased to $250 in September. But Sikorsky, who is on a fixed income of $1,000 a month, was unable to make the necessary repairs. Because of her overwhelming financial obligations, she was forced to move back into the Weber property a few months ago. And in the past few weeks, the community has come to her aid, with neighbors volunteering volunteering to fix and upgrade the home. Among them, people like Jack Rice from Super Pavers, who's donating his time to pave the driveway. For the age of the house, which I guess is over 70 years, it looks pretty good to me. And there's other properties in this area that are much more distressed looking situation than this one is to me. City officials say they're thankful the repairs have been made, but they still have to inspect the property for code compliance. In the meantime, they stress the fine is not an attempt to take the home. This has purely been an effort to try to uh, help the neighborhood, help the property owner, just bring a property into a safe and sanitary condition. And we've, we've made some progress, thankfully. But the situation still isn't sitting well with Sarosky. Angry because uh, why did they pick my house, you know, for all of this? Now, fish, uh, city officials say they had more than a dozen meetings with Sikorsky prior to placing the liens on the property, and they say their next meeting is in June, and that time a judge will determine what happens next with those fines. Back to you.